Thoroughly, thoroughly professional performance, would you say? Yeah. Okay, I had to do a lot of shouting uh, during the game. Um, yeah, no, I thought we, we worked hard and we did lots of things very well um, to earn the result. Um, but if we had done some other bits, especially in the final third in the front three, a little bit better, we could have put ourselves in a position where the game would have been killed. It was a game where chances were really at a premium. I think County have had six shots, FC have had seven or eight. Why was that? Why were there so few goal scoring opportunities today, do you think? Well, in recent games, I mean, I was at the Chorley game, it was in the middle. And the game was like, uh, I don't think they really um, were that ambitious in the first half. Uh, perhaps the, the changes at the back and the you know, players at front a little bit like ours, they were a bit maybe leggy, tired, and couldn't get any adrenaline going today, both teams. So, um, but they, they, they defended really well, they had the back four and the midfield really protected them well and I think uh, once your midfield protects your back four you've got a chance of minimising opportunities. They did that for us and we did that too. I know as a former centre-half you'd absolutely love 1-0 wins, particularly away from home. How significant and how important is that clean sheet today? Um, just, you know, clean, three points is everything. It doesn't really mean, but, but, uh, I, suppose, I suppose psychologically, um, given the run that FC United were on, and uh, people won't really notice, um, but that's our first point sheet in the league away from home. And as I said to the lads after the game, that's, that was a trademark type of performance and result that we had last year. And if we'd done this more regularly this year, uh, along with the, our current home form and the way we play at home, then we, we, we wouldn't be looking up, we'd be um, in there. So, um, no, but like I said, it was, um, it was a sign of good things to come. Matty Warburton had a goal disallowed after about six or seven minutes, then scored that goal. The two moves, I, mean, I saw you applaud it, the first one that was offside. I mean, some of the intricate football on the edge of the box was terrific, wasn't it, at times? Yeah, I mean, again, you know, the, that's where the, the, the system that we've been trying to employ um, has, has got them closer together, so Jason's yeah. not so isolated. But if the opposition play, stay tight, then we can keep them together. But once they start playing more expansive, they get pulled apart a little bit. But yeah, in the first half, they looked really threatening. Uh, the only time we didn't was when we took a, a touch and, and again, we went backwards. Uh, as long as we kept going moving forward and the, the lads were sort of in sync with each other. But fantastic goal to win the game. Um, I like one of the ones, but I prefer them from set plays. But I thought there were so many aspects that pleased me today, the way that, um, the way that we defended and, the, and the, the, the work ethic of our midfield line, you know, Gary, Jimmy, um, and Adam Thomas again, sort of just making sure that we minimise the sort of spaces and entries into the final third. Uh, it could have been two. Uh, Reese Turner, oh, what a chance that was, set through from the halfway line. Did he have too long to think about it? You know? um, no, no, I mean, obviously the, the keeper's read that he's opened his body up to go to Reese's right, the keeper's gone to his left. Um, um, I don't think Reese could have helped himself by at least trying to use Stotty. Um, yeah. But I mean, Jamie Stott's made an incredible run to keep up with him, and um, you know, um, probably would be disappointed not to be played in or to pick up the pieces. but. Um, it would have been harsh on FC United, but that was the nature of the game at that stage. Uh, we, we needed to keep our energy up front and make sure that any opportunities we had to, to attack them while they were open and defending on the halfway line, um, we did that. That should have counted. There was other opportunities where if we'd been a little bit fresher, a little bit more energetic, we could have caused them problems. But um, in the end, uh, the, the, you know, the back seven, all I had to do was work really hard to keep the clean sheet. And, uh, I was really pleased with the way that we were resilient when the, the storm came for the last uh, 10 minutes. Quick word on Jamie Stock. He's only a young man, but goodness me, he's slotted in as if he's been playing there forever. What about the qualities that he brings to the back line? Well, I just think, um, obviously, we, we, we used Steve O'Halloran then. He's done really well. He's either a left centre back or a, a left of a free. Um, and Jay, Jamie is a young lad, um, but he's physically mature. Yeah. He looks like he's got good experience at this level. And um, you know, if he keeps working at his game, he can play at a higher level. There's no doubt about that. Um, he's had a baptism of fire with the, um, the results that he had when he first played. But I think you know, this today, along with the York game, sort of epitomises that that little bit of balance and strength that we brought to the back four because um, we wanted to strengthen that side of it and stop conceding. And when we've done that. Uh, you know, forget the maiden head game in between, but York 2-0, uh, FC United away from home 1-0. Uh, 
that, that's a good sign, um, you know, for being competitive for home against the top sides, full-time sides, and then coming away to a team in good form and still getting results. So uh, that all goes well for us going forward. You are the first team to win here since September. Um, what's the template then that you put in place for victory today? And the, the players obviously followed it. Um, no, no, no real template really. Uh, I mean, obviously we know we've got a little bit of flexibility in our shape. Um, you know, Adam Thomas is willing to kind of go from a, a normal winger to a wing back, and, and he, he tucks in so we, well. And then that allows Darren to play a little bit higher. Uh, well, the teams are going to figure us out. The teams are going to find. Um, what hurts us, um, but the, the, the platform really is just making sure that the back door is shut and that you work really hard in midfield to supply good ball to front players and then just let them front players go about their business and um, the way that Matty and Darren are playing at the moment, uh, we look like we're going to score and um, you know the stats show that in the last six games that they've been the architects of all the goals um, and, and on top of that we're getting like to Jimmy Balls and emergency nine and, and, and set play so uh, no real plan. I think uh, on, on the flip side FC United have been brilliant here. Uh, Tom Gibbs done a great job. He's got them right out of a difficult situation. Uh, blooded a lot of good young players. Uh, I think uh, having looked at them in, in recent games, I was here for the Southport game, which is a great win, um, the Chorley game, and uh, the young players have done well. But I, I just think that maybe a couple of players being injured, like Danny Wisdoms and that, have taken a little bit away from them. And they were kind of, you know, even the young lad Beard uh, pulling up in the warm up. So they, they've got a lot of young lads, which has taken a little bit away from them, but also added something to them. So I think they're doing a great job, and I think if they keep playing like that, they're going uh, to have a chance of finishing the top ten. Just finally, Jim Reese turn has come back today. Sam Minihan, we saw him out on the pitch before kick-off today. You're going to need all these players now, aren't you? Because you've got games coming thick and fast. There's a game Tuesday at home to Manit, and then we're back in the, the FA Trophy again. So you're going to need that full depth of squad. Yeah, certainly, and um, you know what we what we have with Scott Duxbury. I mean, I mean he's, he's unfortunate to be outside because he had three assists against um, Maidenhead and great energy. Um, but we would have stopped with it, uh, sorry, Scott wouldn't have been available for the last Saturday game, so we set up with the team that we played today. Uh, the only absentee was the, the suspension to Harry Winter, who would have been available last Saturday, but not this Saturday. Um, yeah, though, so we've got good options down the left, we've got good options in midfield, we've got a couple of options now with Reese back up. The one area pitch that we're kind of looking for a little bit of depth to maybe give Adam Thomas a rest or to take him off and keep him fresh from the game is on the right, and uh, Sam Minahan will be back, and I'm sure that'll be. Uh, Bonus for the squad, and um, you know, despite some of the challenges today, we've, we've come out with um, you know no injuries. Um, so we will just keep working hard on, on making sure that we're fit, keep everybody fit, just go from game to game, picking up the It's a great win, five points away from the playoffs now, but a game to come on Tuesday night as well. Well done. Tonight.